the channel physics by iitians we are back with another interview question and this question was asked in phd interview in iit kharagpur material science department the question is what is anti reflector how does it work so let's start the video to understand what is anti reflector or what is anti reflecting coating on optical components we have to understand the definition the an anti reflecting or anti reflection coating is a type of optical coating applied on the surface of lenses and other optical elements to reduce reflection in typical imaging system this improves the efficiency since less light is lost due to reflection and in complex systems such as telescopes microscopes the reduction in reflections also improves the contrast of the image by elimination of stray light so this is specially important in planetary astronomy also so this are our this is our definition and its application to the various fields in optics so this is the anti reflecting coating which will uh, reduce the reflection now we will understand what is the basic principle behind this working working of the anti reflection coating we have to keep in mind that 180 degree phase change will happen if the reflected light will be from a medium of a larger n and there is no phase change when the reflected light by a media with smaller n okay so suppose this is our incident beam and it will reflect this is our thin film of some coating some material of coating of some material now the incident beam will get reflected from this interface from this boundary and from the second boundary this boundary is the air medium interface and this boundary is the medium glass interface this is the glass or some other medium okay so the air at the air medium thin film interface there is a reflection and this reflection is happening from the denser side and it will give you a phase change of pi where from this side you can't get any phase change because this glass refractive index or this medium refractive index is lower than this medium so this interface is medium glass interface and there will be no reflection at the reflection from this side so the two reflected light having a phase change or path reference of lambda by 2 which will interfere with 180 degree phase change that is which will interfere destructively so this light has a phase change of 180 degree or has a path change of pi lambda by 2 and this reflected light has no phase change and both will interfere and there will be destructive interference so destructive interference means there will be no reflected light so this r1 r2 we don't get any light output because there is happening destructive interference so this will reduce the reflection due to this glass now how how much reflection happens at the glass interface that is r equals to it will come from the fresnel's law that is the reflectance and the transmittance so uh, at normal incidence r is this form n1 nt minus n, n1, ni divided by nt plus ni whole square and t equals to transmission tra transmittance equals to 4 nt ni divided by nt plus ni whole square so at an air glass interface where the refractive index of the air is 1 and the refractive index of the glass is 1.5 that is ni is the incident medium and t nt is the transmittance media or the second media the reflection is 4% transmittance or transmission is 96% although 4% refract reflection is less but although it happens the, it, it there will be serious problem here looks here the, this glass has no reflection anti reflection coating here this is the visibility problem here in this case the reflected light is occurring but this glass is with a anti reflection coating look how uh, clear visibility it gets whenever this anti reflection coating is uh, is uh, coat, is coated here okay so this is another beautiful diagram the anti reflection coatings work by producing two reflections which interfere destructively with each other so this is our incident media or incident light and this 
light is getting a pi phase difference here and both reflected light having a phase difference of pi and they interfere destructively and we are getting no reflected light. So the anti-reflection coating may be of single uh, single layer coating, maybe multiple layer coating or maybe the, or more than two. This is a two, only two uh, layer coating and this is more than two or three layer coating. So this lambda by four means a path reference of lambda by four, which induces a phase difference of pi. Uh, sorry, not pi by two, that is uh, uh, pi. And this one is the look here, the material, typical material for the single layer anti-reflection coating is MgF2, where in the refractive index of MgF2 is 1.38 and the optimum coating thickness in coating equals to root over of N glass. Now you have to understand here why this N is 1.38 because look here glass air is 1 and this one is 1.38. So from glass air to glass uh, this MgF2 there will be this is the denser medium. So there will be reflection of pi by 2 uh, reflection of uh, pi uh, phase difference and this one will from the glass this medium to glass there is the refractive index n equals to 1.38. So here from this side this glass is 1.5. So we don't get any phase change. Similarly this refractive index is 1.38 1.65 and this is 1.5. So here multiple thickness with multiple uh, different coatings with different layers can be possible to reduce the reflections at maximum. Now how will get you get the optimum optimal value? It will be given by the geometrical mean of the two surrounding indices that is n1 equals to root over no into ns. For example, glass is ns equals to 1.5 and no is 1.0. So optimal refractive index n1 equals to 1.225. If you if you uh, use a material which has minimum refractive index of 1.225 or more than that, but it should be less than 1.5 for the single layer coating, you can use this optimal thickness formula. And also for the other material also you can use from this formula how much refractive index for a layer would be needed for a uh, destructive interference. So what are the conclusions? So the thin film anti-reflection coating greatly reduce the light loss in multiple element lenses by making use of phase changes and the dependence of the reflectivity on the index of refraction. A single quarter wavelength coating of optimum index can eliminate reflection at one wavelength. Multi-layer coatings can reduce the loss over the visible spectrum. Okay, so the single quarter wavelength, uh, it that is quarter wavelength means lambda by four wavelength can this coating can optimum uh, with optimum index can eliminate reflection at any one wavelength and the multi-layer coating will reduce the reflection for the entire visible spectrum. One will be for some layer, another for the another spectrum, for the another light frequency or another wavelength, it will uh, use another layer, okay? That's how multi-layer work. So uh, friends, you can also join our test series according to your scheme. So these three test series are available for IIT GATE, NET, JAM, JSTFR exams and the exams are totally computer based and the practice tests are also available and you will get solution also. So please join. This test has, has been kept for your benefit with a minimum cost that is only 200, 500 or 700 rupees. So don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share with your friends. Also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.